Well, SARS is one of the infectious diseases that really changed how we approach um, controlling diseases worldwide. Before SARS, there were no real good diagnostic tests to be able to identify what was causing respiratory infection. So when people got sick and died and they had no diagnosis, they just died. SARS, four letters that stand for the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, which affects almost 8,000 people in the world and has led to the death of some 750 patients. Today, 10 years after this epidemic first occurred in China, the organizers of ICPIC 2013, the International Conference on Prevention and Infection Control, plan to review this major event, one which certainly changed mentalities, but which also, and most importantly, has transformed the health management of population groups hit by epidemics. What SARS told us is that we really have to move into the 20th century, we have to move into the 21st century, and we have to think about how do we cooperate, how do we set up communications, how do we jump on infections very quickly. And that's what SARS really made clear to everybody. And so for many of us, SARS is kind of a, an important event, what the world was like before SARS, and then what uh, public health and medicine was like after SARS. Today, 10 years later on, the medical world has evolved and has become aware of the necessity to limit infection in hospitals and healthcare facilities in order to protect not only the patients, but also, and above all, the medical staff, who are among the first to be infected. We are now 10 years later, and the same family virus is causing us problem in the old Arabic Peninsula with a new coronavirus. So the uh, MERS-CoV or the uh, novel coronavirus that was uh, first discovered in September 2012 uh, has so far affected 70 people and caused 40 uh, mortalities. Uh, the virus is a novel virus, it belongs to the corona group and uh, we know little about it uh, so far but we're learning much uh, every day about this virus and the way it causes disease. Uh, the virus seems to be less virulent than the SARS virus and the transmissibility of the virus uh, is not as rapid and as fast as, as the SARS virus. A lot of questions about this virus remain unanswered. But nowadays, the medical world has adopted new routine practices, including hand hygiene and the strict implementation of airborne isolation and droplet precautions, as recommended by the WHO. Simple but vital practices that allow health professionals to face up to these new viruses without having to fear them. Well, I think we have to be conscious about it, but I don't think we have to be afraid. There's no need to be paranoid, but I think it's a good and timely reminder of many of the lessons we learned during SARS is that good infection control will protect you against what you know and also against what you don't know. We are certainly more confident because we lived SARS, which was a coronavirus. We learned how to handle this situation and now we are facing a new coronavirus. But the mode of transmission is certainly or almost surely the same. So we have learned from SARS epidemic 10 years ago and we, yes, we are more confident to promote and support infection control throughout the world. That is the ICPIC mission. To find novel, imaginative solutions for tomorrow is the ambitious goal driving the exchange of views and debate at this 2013 meeting in Geneva.